I will cover point three here, how to edit pages, and we're using a quiz page on this setup. We're setting up a listing landing page with a couple of parts, and this is how you do it. Here is the live template, and this is not changed at all. And we're going to just change, all you have to do is change some of the text. You don't want to put too much here, and here is why. The view on the mobile device, like you see here, nothing is more important than that because 80, 90% of your viewers from Facebook will be on mobile devices. So you don't want to overwhelm them with too much information here. Just a headline, a couple of bullet points, and a clear call to action right there. That's the setup you want to use. Don't put too much here because your Facebook ad that you're using will have an ad image and maybe a video and it will highlight the property. It's already driving them here to this page. You don't want to put too much here that will actually lose their interest or lose the prospect. Just a few bullet points. Click here to see it. This is the best setup for a listing open house coming soon. What you're looking at right here it converts at a crazy rate so here i am in the editor area and there's three parts to the page the home page this is where we send traffic initially like i just showed you in that mobile viewer so i'm going to start here and just click the advanced editor and this editor opens up here there's a bunch of icons up here but most of them you don't need to use so there's a couple things there's a background image and i'll show you how to change that in a moment the first thing is just change this text, like your headline, right? Like you might want to say, just highlight it and type over. Don't miss this home. That's good enough right there. And then for a bullet point, just type over. See that? That's all you do. And then here, you don't want to change this too much. Here, you might want to change. I like, you'll love this home something like that, but you don't even have to change it, really. It's all set up, just a few bullet points. You might want to call out your location here, but you really don't have to. Like, you know, great, great home in Dallas. Something like that. And then a few bullet points, and that's it. And then just click Save. And you go to this page here, and then just click Domain Settings. It'll take you back to the editor. Okay, and then what you can do is you can click that home icon and see your changes. See that? You can see the live changes. Now back to the editor. After you get this text area complete, scroll down and you have a couple things here like listing information by realtor name, by realtor Joe Smith. Just type in your name there and then you can change this right here. Just highlight that. Place a line or two about the property here. Not too much information, just a few bullet points. It can be great location, near parks, shopping is a short walk away. Just things like that. Just a couple of things. That's it. And then you'll want to see this one. Click to see it. That's all you want to do. And then below here you have your area for the agent information. Right? And then you just highlight this and type over it. Like Joe Smith Realtor License Number. Right? Right there. My company. My phone my email that's it you don't want to put too much information you don't even want to put your website really because you don't want them going there and trying to find the information that's it just put your basic information right there and then you click save but of course you're probably looking at this goofball and saying hey that's not me i want to change this picture right so all you do is you double click on the photo here okay and it will open up here and then you just click browse server uh, oops, excuse me. No, you don't. You don't click browse server. That's for some graphics that we have in place. That's not where your photo is. You click upload and then browse here and it'll pull up images. Okay, I'm just going to click on this one and then just click send to server and you'll see your image there. Now, the width, right? A lot of 
photos are high resolution photos and it might be like 4,000 3,000 with you do not want to do that for mobile you just want it you don't want the picture to be too big just 220 width and then just click this box it'll lock the ratio so it's not distorted and it'll stay the dimensions will stay correct there that's it okay so just upload your image with 220 click OK and that's it you're done on this page your home page is complete so just go here and click domain settings and then let's check it out again click home and you can see everything here was changed that's where I typed in Joe Smith and you can see the agent information here that's it. Your page is done. The lead capture is in place here, so your home page is complete. Up next, we want to set up page two and the quiz. So go to the next video, and I will set up a quiz.